Okay, so someone asked for a tutorial about making uh, laser beams in Lightwave, and it's funny because I was thinking about doing something like that anyway. So here it is. And here's a, a little test animation I did of a uh, spaceship shooting some lasers out of the nose cone of the ship. And uh, here is the scene that I, I, I did that in. Uh, I'll select the particles so you can see that. And um, I, I liter literally did this just for this tutorial, and I set this whole scene up in about like less than 10 minutes, maybe five minutes or so. So I'll show you how to do that now. It's a uh, quick cheat on how to do laser beams. So uh, what we need is a particle system to emit the laser beam. So go to uh, Items, Dynamic Object Particle, select Hypervoxel Emitter, hit OK. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Okay, and I don't want a hundred particles being emitted every second. I just need one. Okay, and I'm going to move this camera over so that I can see, get a nice spot to render the frame from. All right, and uh, I'll need some more frames so I can see the particles being animated. So I'll move the frames up to 200 here. Okay, let's select that. Now if we move this, um, I don't know if you can see the particles are being emitted, uh, but uh, there's no movement to them right now. So we'll have to give them some motion. We want them to kind of shoot out. So let's go to the motion tab and give them some velocity along the z-axis. So go to 10 meters per second. Okay. So now you can see the particle being emitted here. And it has this little tail which shows you that it has some... Uh, uh, motion to it and where the motion is coming from. Okay, so uh, now we just have a blank particle and we're not going to really get that far with that. So we need to add hypervoxels to this to be able to see a laser beam. So control F6, volumetrics, uh, add volumetric hypervoxels and double click on that and double click on the emitter to add the hypervoxels to it. All right, so let's go to my render tab and render a frame. Uh, that's not what we want. Um, we want something that looks like a laser beam. Well, uh, for one thing, uh, we don't want a surface. We don't want a volume. We want a sprite. And um, we want it to be red, so we'll make this into a red hypervoxel. Okay, now let's render that and see what that looks like. Okay, that's still not what we want, so we need to do a few things to the defaults here. Uh, what's causing this to not look like a laser beam? Um, one is the hypervoxel texture. Uh, take off the crumple texture by default to none. All right. Uh, we also want to glow uh, with a hot internal glow. So let's turn this luminosity up to like uh, 250 percent. All right. And also it's too big, so um, we'll change the particle size to like 0.2. And we want the uh, thing to be a laser which has length and so we're going to want to stretch in the same axis that it's moving in so we'll set stretch direction to velocity and uh, I'm going to turn the stretch amount up a little bit so 150 percent so now let's let's render it and that looks a lot more like a uh, laser beam and once we parent it to the spaceship here in a second it, it will look even better so um, oh the other thing we need to do is uh, Let's hit Shift C to select the camera and hit P for the camera properties. And that we need to give it some blur, some motion blur. Uh, otherwise, it will look very kind of painted on. So, uh, in order to get motion blur to work, first we need some anti aliasing. So, let's give it like a four pass anti aliasing. I like this reconstruction filter of Mitchell. And uh, turn the motion blur on. I like the dither. And I usually uh, leave the motion blur a bit less than this, but I'm going to leave it up to 50%. gives a nice blur. And turn on particle blur. Let's, let's render that. We should see a bit of it. So we see a bit of a difference. When you animate it, it will be very apparent that you need that. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go back to frame zero and add the spaceship in. So I'll just shift plus to uh, select the load object screen, and I'll load in that shuttle. I showed you. And I'll just move this uh, Shift H to scale it down, Y to rotate it, and let's go number four on our keypad to uh, go to the uh, perspective view. And let's just line it up so that it looks like this um, 
Perkle system is coming out of the nose cone. Okay. All right, and now we're going to parent the particle system to the ship. So hit, select the particles and hit P for properties. I'm sorry, hit M for motion properties. Parent item will be the ship. Okay. Now when we um, animate this, uh, let's animate the ship as well. So we'll start the ship back here and then maybe at frame 60 or so. Move the ship down here. Move the camera with the ship. Have the ship kind of go down here and kind of rotate while it's shooting. And now if we animate it, you'll see that the particle is now kind of just traveling in front of the ship here. It kind of comes out and kind of hangs there. So uh, sometimes when you um, parent particle system to another object, the motion gets kind of messed around with. So let's go to P for properties and open up the emitter properties. And uh, here's a couple things we're going to need to do. Is um, Number one, go to the etc tab and turn this parent motion all the way to 0%. Because if it has the parent motion, if the parent, for example, the ship, if it kind of turns and banks and stuff uh, and moves up and down, the particle system is going to inherit that motion, and you're going to get particles that look like a big slash across the screen, and it looks kind of strange. And uh, let's see here. Let's move to a frame where we can see this stuff coming out. Should have been around here. So let's give it uh, more velocity so it can escape away from the ship. And as you can see now, it's kind of shooting out there. We can just keep giving it velocity until it looks good for us. Let's play that. So as you can see, it looks like, oops, I guess I could keep, anyway, you can see, I stopped the animation of the ship right there, but as you can see, it, it looks like um, particles are being shot out of the ship. So let me go back to my original scene, and you can see the finished product. I'll play that ship is moving and so really within just a, a few minutes here we set up an entire space scene and we were able to create some lasers uh, shooting out of a spaceship with very little difficulty.